News and Men. Hey, welcome to the podcast. This is Darian, and my co-host again is Dustin. Say hi. What up? We're here at episode nine with a very special guest, Isad from Pepper. Yo, and my co-host, Mishi, my English bulldog. Yeah. As you can dog, hear in the back. That dog is giant. How much does that dog weigh? She goes between 60 and 63 pounds. Pr- proudly <laughs> so, <laughs> suffering from the like like the weight fluctuations like everybody else like me yeah. so, suffer, suffering on how much uh human food her mom gives her <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well you want to jump in bust out some stories and you can like say what in the hell yeah well well guide me through guide me through here we go we're starting dustin go oh for i it. got one right here all right two placer county teenage girls were arrested for allegedly using drug milkshakes to knock out the parents of one of the girls so they could log on to the internet after hours. That's- <laughs> so my first question is, what what kind of drugs were, did they put in these milkshakes to knock them out? And what did they need to look on the internet for that they needed to knock their parents out? Yeah, read a little bit of that story. <laughs> well, it said internet access at the Rockman home was routinely shut off at 10 p.m. So that's that's the initial, you know. Gotcha. It was a and time then, thing. Um, yeah, it happened on a Friday evening. 15-year-old girl, 16-year-old friend. Visiting, offered to pick up milkshakes from a local fast food restaurant for her parents. And uh, the parents drank about a quarter of them but didn't finish them, saying they tasted funny and were grainy. <laughs> they tasted funny. They were a little grainy. Wow. <laughs> so uh, These parents have probably never done drugs before, sounds like to me. Right here, the milkshakes were loaded with prescription sleep aids, apparently. Dude, but here's Provided the thing. by a friend. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. How did they get prescription yeah. sleep aids? There's always but that how, friend. This is what's gnarly is kids are like uh, super resourceful when they want to do something. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get milkshakes and knock out my parents and then go <laughs> trip out on the internet. That's and, like weird. And to think even that a milkshake's very thick and maybe they're even thinking that they're less likely to notice it in there. Like they yeah, said, exactly, it was just yeah. a little grainy. I'm sure little that's grainy. what it was. Just a little grainy. But it's, that wouldn't very stop smart. me from a milkshake. But I, here's the rap part. Read, read a little bit more of this story. Read how the parents found out. Well, they awoke at 1 a.m. with unexplained hangover symptoms, <laughs> <laughs> but went back to sleep. And in the morning, with the headache and grogginess still present, they went to Rockland Police Station to pick up a drug test kit. Exactly. Wow. And read, read, read more about that, how that works. Let's see, many parents uh, buy them for their kids, urine tested, but in this case, they used a $5 kit to test themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you're they... drug testing yeah. yourself, dude. And you're going, <laughs> okay, I'm high. Who's, who's the culprit? <laughs> you're, only, you're only hurting yourself. You're only hurting that yourself. That is so awesome, dude. Dude, but when they tested positive, they called the cops, and they were taken to juvenile hall. Did it, whoa. God. Does it say what the kids were trying to do on online? Like, what were the... Are they trying to go on like chat roulette? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's horrible. I mean, just, just, just really, what, what they happened? They were just what determined. Happened, what happened to an old school grounding, right? <laughs> Seriously, Dude, what have happened your kids to like arrested? Yeah, what, ha- what happened to climbing out the window and just like going over your friend's <laughs> house? Like you got to get oh. milkshake. <laughs> yeah, that that all went away with uh, technology. You know. That's I think weird. the parents wouldn't let them listen to your podcast. They're just <laughs> dedicated listeners. They're trying to get on, yeah, yeah. amusing men. Dude, I got to listen. Yeah, yeah. That is pretty crazy, but I think I got something way crazier. You were talking about Brazil earlier, like before yeah. we started the podcast. Check this out. Brazil gives prison inmates a holiday vacation, but thousands don't return. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you, know, you, know, you know what's funny about that is uh, Brazil to Portugal is what Australia is to England. Yeah, totally. So it's almost like this is happening again, and but they went out, they they didn't come back. But it's so insane because <laughs> you know you know what I mean. They, they Did you like, see that yeah, analogy? Dude. You yeah. see that analogy? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Penal colony. Yeah, <laughs> they have they have uh, they have these like prog- progressive kind of policies. It said more than twenty four hundred Brazilian inmates are on the run after they are granted a holiday vacation home, but surprised prison guards by failing to come back. I mean, that doesn't seem surprising to me. Yeah, what right. a surprise. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's, of the 26,000 given furloughs for good behavior over Christmas and New Year's holidays, prison that's that's rad, good behavior. <laughs> right. And that means no the, stabbing. <laughs> the prison systems from 26 states and the federal district report 5% remaining at large. I guess the behavior wasn't that good. <laughs> what kind of, what, what kind of, does it say what kind of prison that this was coming from? Like, 
Obviously not the serial like killers. Like super high right. security. No, right. right. I'm guessing minimal security. Yeah. yeah like, it says like there's a golf course. According, there. <laughs> <laughs> according to penal execution law, inmates are, are those from minimum security prisons yeah. who have shown good behavior and completed at least a sixth yeah. of their sentence. A sixth. Wow. Wow, what a huge <laughs> a six of their sentence. It is it is it is minimal. Uh, whatever minimal, the lower one. So no harm, no foul, right? No. Yeah. Mm, depends on what I don't know. Well, that's what I'm saying. How bad are the crimes these people could have committed in the uh, the low facility, right? It could be like white collar dudes, you know, Bernie Madoffs. Right, which is <laughs> the Bernie weekend at Bernie's. Weekend at he Bernie just never Madoffs. came back. Uh, he died. Yes, totally. Those were those were big parts of my youth. Those two movies. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Here, here's a. I got a different story for you guys. This, this is like kind of on the gross side. I didn't know whether I should include it, but I'm glad you did. Corpse found in L.A. hotel's water tank. Heard about this? What? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 in Koreatown or something. It's uh, it's a Los Angeles hotel. Okay, tourists staying at a Los Angeles hotel bathed, brushed teeth, and drank water from a <laughs> tank in which a young woman's yep. body was likely decomposing for more than two weeks. Police said. Oh yeah. man! I guess um, the the water pressure start. I saw it on the news. The water pressure started getting low and whatnot. And then <laughs> oh, I no, recently dude. just saw another repeat story about how they're figuring out what they're going to do about because obviously no one's staying there anymore. Well, the, so. The, 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 <laughs> so <they're, laughs> <laughs> the gnarly thing is, is uh, some of the people were like, the water did have a funny taste. Sabrina yeah. told CNN oh, on no. Wednesday. <laughs> she and her husband used the water for eight days. We never thought anything of it. We just thought it was the way it was here. Uh, oh that, my I mean, God, that just sounds dude. like so many lawsuits waiting to happen. It's like, a, it's like an involuntary version of that movie Alive. Yeah. Except yeah. they're kind of drinking <laughs> except they're kind of drinking the person. Right, like instead that. of you eating. Know? Yeah. Oh uh, no. That's so <laughs> gnarly, dude. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the name Stop. the na- the name of that hotel for all the listeners. Right. <laughs> Let me find it. Let me find it. We <laughs> know not to ever sure stay there. <laughs> Oh, the Cecil uh, Hotel. Uh, I go there all the time. Go, let, I'm, I want to go. I want to go check out the Yelp reviews for that hotel. <laughs> Cecil Hotel Seriously? water is excellent. Oh no, <laughs> the tap is glorious. <laughs> L.A. fresh spring water. Dude, that that left a bad taste in my mouth. That story. Dude. What do you, What do you got next, Dustin? Oh man, all right, this one's cool, dude. Stoners call cops after their hookah pipes get stolen. That's awesome. <laughs> and the cops find their grow operation. <laughs> Okay, a, who, a, a hookah? A, a, really a hookah? Really? Yeah. Come on. I think it was all their bongs and all their uh, all their uh, stuff. Okay, that's cool. My See, this went pipe. down in they Lincoln. Just use the, they, they just used the hookah for the title of the story. It sounded yeah, exactly. better, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what it is. that's totally what it is. Because I initially I would have thought these guys must grow the worst pot ever. <laughs> they're like, yeah, dude, check out the hookah. It's yeah. awesome. Right, exactly. <laughs> Guava flavored. Yeah, so what? So what? Out. So uh, who got, this was who in got, Lincoln, Nebraska. Who, Let's see. Authorities say they discovered a budding there? marijuana growing operation after residents of a Lincoln house no called intended. police <laughs> to report a theft of marijuana pipes. Yeah. See, the officers, uh, the cops were called to the house Saturday morning. Residents reported. Um, the two people, one of them armed with a handgun, forced their way inside the house and took two hookah pipes. Dude, that might go over better in Colorado than it does in Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> and know. they had and they had a grow. Let me. They, and they had a grow operation in there. And they were growing. And the people just they, took the hookah and pipes. And they called. Yeah, the, but they it. called the cops. That's that's like <laughs> invited on them, them in. yeah, on themselves basically. <laughs> <laughs> You're only stealing that's from like yourself, so, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the hookah pipe next to that empty pizza box right there, officer? Yeah. So, see, so they got arrested. They got popped. Let's nice. see. Officers questioning the residents noticed marijuana paraphernalia and several bottles of fertilizer. Oh, so, uh, wow! That's called a yeah. that's called a detective right there. Yeah. yeah. And the, oh yeah, and a bright light shining from under the door. You know, that was God. With a padlock and a power cord snaking into the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're using like ten thousand watts of power a minute. <laughs> and the house was of like their a, neighbor's power. Like yeah. <laughs> of their neighbor's power. It was ninety degrees jury-ing. in their house and real humid. Yeah, that, that's rad. <laughs> that is good. It's very tropical oh, in here. Yeah. How about this? This is you. You guys better prep yourselves for this one. Okay. <laughs> Christy ready. Dawn Harris arrested. Police find loaded gun hidden inside her vagina and bags of meth between her buttocks. <laughs> 
Ouch. What kind of gun? I mean, I hope that, I hope that gun was really small. <laughs> it was a 45. That, yeah. So my friend sent me this story. No, it this was is a like shotgun. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> a woman arrested by police was revealed to have a loaded gun hidden inside her vagina and a bag of drugs concealed between her buttocks. Suspect Christy Don Harris was arrested by police in Ada, Oklahoma this week. Okay. After a search of her car yielded crystal meth, drug paraphernalia, a pistol, and some ammo. That is nice. proof. That is proof of what crystal meth will do to a person. Yeah, you will do anything. You will do anything for it. It'll make you think that that's a good idea. You will do anything for it. Literally any. That proves it right yeah, there. But you will do here, anything. Here's where it gets good to me. For some reason, she consented to a body cavity search. That's weird. And at which point, Officer Kathy, whatever, observed at the time a wooden and metal item sticking out from her vagina area. <laughs> but... <laughs> So it was a handgun. <laughs> nice. Yeah, what yeah, kind further, of handgun? Further examination is that? of the suspect yielded a number of plastic bags filled with methamphetamine. But here's the crazy part. Uh the district attorney said he his name's Chris Ross and he says it would seem a very dangerous place to carry a loaded <laughs> firearm. <laughs> if it goes very off, political. if very it goes political. off, it's only going in one place. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. like in, in and that's out of one place. Such an awesome understatement. Oh, that is that's amazing. An awesome understatement. <laughs> Oh my God! How big was this girl? That's a lot to hide. That is. It's just—it's you know? like a little twenty-two caliber, but still. I mean, but he, if he saw wood and metal, that idea. means it's one of those with the the the, the little, wood on the outside and right. the metal in the middle. I mean, yeah, like, that's a considerable. It's more the considerable. It's more. It's more, the, it's, it's more the shape of it, though. It's more the shape oh. of it that's impressive. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, although she left the pistol hanging out like a holster. Yeah, that's so true. I bet she might. Here, here's you know, another how rap quick part. She can draw. This guy Doug Wiley wrote. I guess he was he is another cop or something, and he wrote. I know suspects stowing stuff in body cavities is not new. He's like this sort of thing makes salacious news headlines every so often, but the fact is, male and female criminals use body cavity concealment all the time for all manner of contraband. Yeah, so uh. I've seen get him to the Greek. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> that's gnarly. Ouch. <laughs> what, what's your next story? All right, this one's pretty classic. All right, man quits job after 666 is stamped on his W 2 form. <laughs> this, was in a, this, was in a, this was in Tennessee. <laughs> some people would call That's that awesome. such a. I know some people that would take that as a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he's on fun employment, so he's still. Right, yeah. exactly, dude. Yeah. Vacation, huh? So there's a, let's see, a Tennessee maintenance worker says he quit his job because his W 2 tax form was stamped with the number 666. What, what was the stamp from? Does it say? Like. Just a random number, I guess. Just Are like they the numbered number they mailed it was, out or something like uh, that? Yeah, just blew his mind. Apparently, he couldn't deal. The universe was talking Walter to. Solonpas says that uh, accepting the number would have condemned his soul to hell. Yeah. So that what? number is considered the mark of the beast in the Bible's book of Revelation describing the apocalypse. In case did, you didn't know. Did you already say where this was? <laughs> where, where this yeah, Tennessee. Lived? Tennessee. Tennessee, yeah. Bible Belt. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right in the middle. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if it says anything about accepting mail stamped 666 <laughs> right. in the Bible. But, uh, <laughs> I guess he's just trying to cover all his bases, you know, just in case. Better safe than sorry, <laughs> Better right? safe than sorry, exactly. <laughs> Dude, I, I mean, did they have mail back then? It. Did they have mail like 2,000 years? It might, might have been yeah. like stone tablets. I, w- I, wonder what the, I, I, I wonder how much the stamp was back then. Yeah, and, yeah. You know? Exactly. <laughs> Lick it and put it on a stone. Oh, yeah. And then uh, can you imagine the, uh, like the postal carrier back then? You'd have to be super strong. Just pulling a cart of like stone tablets. Oh, God. I'm sure you had so a row of donkeys behind you. I hope yeah. so, yeah. man. That's well, I mean, yeah, but look at the look at the pyramids, bros. Come yeah, on. yeah. So you know, they must have been stronger back then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and it was the aliens, and it was also the yeah. aliens. Alien mail. Little carriers. help. Yeah. Little help. Little help. <laughs> Little, can I get some? <laughs> I, I, I got I got something totally crazy for you guys. This this I actually dig because it's sort of like they're turning the clock back to the 70s. Check it out. Irish town passes motion to allow drinking and driving. Oh my what? god. <laughs> awesome. The Irish, the Irish are pretty serious about their dr- drinking. Yeah. Motion calls for allowing people to quote 
drive home from their nearest pub after having one or two drinks or two or three drinks on little used roads driving at very low speeds. The nearest very pub. <laughs> Notice how they said the nearest pub okay. and very low speeds. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what so, the speed okay. limit is if you're hammered. Can I tell you a, a story? That Absolutely. When, the first time we went to um, to Europe and uh, we were with the Mad Caddies actually and we had this, uh, we called it the toaster. It was this tiny little RV that just ridiculous. But, the toaster, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Any, anyway, we had uh, this guy named Fanta from Germany over there, but I drink Coors Light on stage because, you know, it's like we call it Hawaiian water being from Hawaii. Yeah, exactly. Right, totally. So, you know, you go over there and, like, you, you don't see Coors Light. Right. Room, you <laughs> no, know, they're, no. they're like, what? Mm-hmm. What is that? Yeah. You it's know, water. Kinda, yeah, kind of thing. So, <laughs> so, anyway, mind you, it's our driver that's driving it. And so, finally, we get some, like, Coors Light, and he's like, Coors Light, Miller Light. That's like driving beer. Yeah. <laughs> so this kind of this kind of hits that's kind of hits that story right it on really the does. right exactly. on the head, right? You know. There you totally. go. Check this out. That this Irish town passed a motion calling for some members of its community to be allowed. What's that? Some members of its community being allowed to drink and drive. I mean, yeah. What, what who do you gets, mean? Yeah. What's the is there like a you need to, It's like a parking permit. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you got to. Yeah. Here's the rad thing. You, you probably th- this this seems probably counterintuitive. Proposed by a local pub owner <laughs> that's a, uh, and, and politician. Oh, that's good business. Danny bro. Ray. That's a monopoly, isn't it? Seriously, yeah, he's, he's, he's the man. He's a pub right owner there. and a politician, so he can pa- he can pass like pro drinking laws. Right, that's, that's rad. So yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they're just working. They're working together. Talk about working together. Seriously, right? that's dude. Collusion. Yeah. Gnarly collusion. <laughs> <laughs> This is a, I want a drunk driving permit. The, the 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 measure will help preserve pub culture, lower the risk of suicide, and attack isolation in the small town. Attack lower isolation. The, what kind of how word, does that happen? What kind of terminology is that? Lower the risk of suicide. I don't know. Right. I mean, what is it? Suicide by drunk driving? I don't get it. That's weird. It's unintentional. So if well, it's how not does it suicide? lower? I, if it's unintentional an suicide is yeah. that such a thing if you can't so. if, I, if, I, if i can't drink and drive i'm gonna kill myself i don't but know now i can That's so i'm not extreme. going to that was his argument what, probably what I trip out on is awesome the, the rest of england's cracking awesome. down on that right because they're they're the like what, a, the what is the rest there? of england because uh. you know they have they have all these stories in english papers of, of people like passed out in the snow yeah. like in the morning right, after, yeah. dying after a heavy night of drinking <laughs> <laughs> but Ireland, Face set, down Ireland, the snow. Ireland, Let them drive home. Stay. Ireland sets themselves a bit apart from England, though, and whatnot. Right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, so they're so yeah. they're going. They're, beat, they're like yeah, we're going by. Reason. We're going by our own beat, of our yeah. own drum here. Yeah. It's, pro- it's that's a, probably part of the reason. It's probably like a, a political message. You know, they're trying to send. Yeah, just an so, f you to their face. That's so the, they know <laughs> the dangerous one. They though. noted at the time that Irish road and alcohol safety organizations slammed the proposal plan. <laughs> well, Ireland has strict laws and to combat drunk driving and has stepped up enforcement efforts. It, it seems like, it, yeah, this guy's definitely swimming upstream so, on this. <laughs> That's pretty gnarly. So you could drive home from his pub, but there's a DUI checkpoint like right yeah, around the corner. Yeah, that'd be awesome. But the fact that he's swimming, I can respect that. No, I, yeah. I think it's awesome. Like I said, you know, he's turning back the clock. It's yeah. pretty rad. Dude. It's amazing. <laughs> What's it, what else have you got, Dustin? All right, I got one here. Um, Woman plunges through sidewalk. All right. I think this is a no effects song I've heard before. <laughs> <laughs> a heavy set woman caved through an upper Definitely east no side sidewalk last night, dropping six feet into a huge hole where she was eventually pulled out by emergency crews using a crane like a rescue oh, unit. That's right. Authorities said. <laughs> but can you can you imagine dropping six feet? That's like dropping almost like from the, the height of the ceiling down into the floor some pit yeah and oh and the, you look at the picture it's like metal poor, graded po- stairs just picture a new york alleyway that's where she went poor down woman just how, harsh harsh how, landing and then, how much does it say she weighed dude does and then the have, humility of the crane uh, getting yeah. pulled out of the crane and, well, everybody and, being, and being a big woman everybody in new york is like standing around well, an upper watching, east side circle. crowd is yeah. watching right that's uh, brutal the upper east side. No, uh, it only says she was 31 years old from queens I mean, she was huddled up against the wall of, of an atomic wings at the Blue Room atomic Grill. Atomic wings, dude. <laughs> on the corner yep, of That's East just waiting for Street. an accident to happen. Right? <laughs> and somebody was going to fall through there. It just yeah, happened to be her. Of course. <laughs> Hap- <laughs> happened to be. It was going to be her, it sounds yeah, that's like. rad. Poor girl. She was just seeking shelter from the rain while waiting for the bus. And then suddenly the sidewalk below her just gave away. She well, just disappeared into a hole. 
that's horrible. <laughs> oh, that yeah. What what's been that's been like? What's been happening in those houses? The, sinkholes, the, the yeah. sinkholes. Yeah. Right, right. Where is that? Like in Florida or something, right? <laughs> I I don't know. Dude, one guy just died. Kind of his been... whole house like disappeared <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Like yeah. A, yeah, vortex. What <laughs> happened? Vortex. The sinking. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like it <laughs> swallowed up his house. Boom. <laughs> it's like that movie Money. What was that movie Money Pit? With yeah, a long Money time ago. <laughs> 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 right? yeah. You know, I I always rip on Florida, but it seems like L. A.'s got a lot of weird stories this time. Here's this. Check this out. Out of control car lands on neighbor's roof in L. A. suburb, and there's like this picture of a car on top of this house, like a Magnum or something. <laughs> I'm trying to get a visual of how that would happen, dude. A man in a suburb of, of Los Angeles lost control of his vehicle Saturday, sending the car down an embankment and landing on a neighbor's roof. Yeah, I'm I'm not getting that either. How's you got to catch some serious air to? land on somebody's <laughs> roof unless he was like on a hill and there are houses below i don't know i don't yeah after the vehicle in glendale california came glendale. to a stop on the roof there there's a lot of hills there right came to a stop on the roof a neighbor rushed over with a ladder helping the driver and female passenger off the home <laughs> <laughs> there was a gentleman that was in the house that was, that was home at the time but he is not hurt i mean that is a preliminary report indicated there is a mechanical issue with the car According to police department, dude, that's pretty weird. And that's, these yeah, houses are not stuck. little. Like, that, so the guy wasn't drinking or anything. It doesn't say. I guess not. Because that reminds or, me of the what was that recall the Toyotas were going through? Remember right, when right, the, 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 the Prius, yeah, the or Prius something? or whatever, the, the, gas the Prius, would stick, dude, and the and the it was like a I think it was a firefighter or something. His whole family almost <laughs> oh, almost yeah. died because the thing. Yeah, yeah. What uh, was that? It was like just instantly started flooring. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it would, just, would start, the throttle would just yeah, stick. And, and 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 it and you couldn't break. You could yeah. like, wow. like and the guy the guy was like a firefighter and his family was in there. So I, I would assume he's a trained dude. You know what I right. mean? Like yeah, yeah. like right. a lot more trained than someone like myself. And I don't know. I don't think they have like, you know, high speed obstacle courses with the, for the fire department or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you just think, ride you along think... on that big on the back of that big ass truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a dog right. yeah. <laughs> yeah you could probably go for that you, you guys could probably sign up for that right. <laughs> she's kind of got the dalmatian spot thing going yeah, yeah. the spots and the, here uh, i got one here this naked chick nude woman hits nude fiance with car yeah nude so, fiance wow. so they're yeah. both nude so, so they're both naked he's just, so, he, that's a quick runaway right there uh, dude you don't even put on your clothes just bail and then chick yeah. runs out and she and smashes into you or you think that was right after he asked her it was it good for you she's like, like, let me let me let me show you how bad it was exactly. the rundown. what's it yeah. say in the story what's it say all right, let's see. Authorities are investigating after a woman in San Bernardino County allegedly struck her fiancé with a car. California Highway Patrol said both were naked at the time on this Thursday night incident. Let me guess. There was something wrong with the car. <laughs> Where was this? <laughs> Where, San Bernardino what? County. Dude, what is up with all these California? Is and the car so? thing. Cars doing random yeah. things. Right. I mean, what, what does it tell anything <laughs> more about, like, the situation? It happened on Phelan Road in San Bernardino when... Uh, Alberto Giovanni Bravo, nice Italian name, huh? Yeah, hot, hot bud. Got out and walked <laughs> in front of the vehicle. For reasons that are not clear, the woman identified as a 22-year-old Hesperia woman got behind the wheel and just ran into him. That is yeah. pretty gnarly. And they're both just cruising around naked. <laughs> yeah, that's the rap part. Both, maybe they're nudists. Yes, for reasons that are not or clear. Maybe, or maybe they're tweakers. Thing, things happen in <laughs> San Bernardino. Two, two ends of the spectrum. Dude, Nudist, San Bernardino, right? come on. Well, 909ers? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's like gnarly. That's true. Demographics dictate. Where is that? Where, where is is what? San Bernardino 909? Yeah. Probably. That's, that's, I mean, that's it's just high north, likelihood it's just, of tweaking. It's just north of Riverside, right? Pretty much? Yeah. Like, yeah. Ge geographically, though? Yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, in the same. I, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I mean, does that happen around here? Do you see people just cruising around naked? Mm, no. I don't Thank God. Yeah. That's that's so yeah, only and if they if, if they people. are naked they have pistols in their vaginas right <laughs> no, <laughs> they're, just, they're heavily armed <laughs> yeah. or they're selling meth yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it's cool that's Florida. out of their butt that's Florida <laughs> and you know what I have another <laughs> butt I, crack I have a Florida story for you guys check this out lemurs caught after scratching girl two lemurs escape from cage at North <laughs> Miami Beach home. I mean, dude, who what? who the who hell has, has lemurs? What's what? What? It's it's when you get so rich you don't know what to do with your money, right? I don't you get, get lemurs. It. Yeah, that, I mean, it should not be legal like to having, have it, lemurs. It's the equivalent of uh, Mick Jagger and David Bowie having sex with each other. Right. You're so bored. What do I do next? Right. I don't think Just it's the equivalent to, to find that. Find something but to do. I guess that's okay. sort of. Fair enough. I, know, I, I, I tried. I tried. I tried. <laughs>
<laughs> but uh, lemurs are feisty. So uh, North Miami. Oh, I thought Beach. you said gerbils. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> that's, that's, my bad. That, that'd be that'd be Richard different Gere. phylum. <laughs> that'd be Richard Gear anyway. Right. So uh, North Miami Beach police received a call about the lemurs, which were loose near 173rd Street. This is the first time we've been dispatched on a call like this. I, I would hope so. <laughs> That's uncommon there. Officers arrived to find one lemur in a tree and another one a block away. A two-year-old girl was returning home with her parents was scratched as she got out of her family's car and the lemur jumped into her arms. <laughs> the child <laughs> suffered scratches to her face and was treated at the scene. Dude, vicious, what the vicious hell? little guy. Mauled yeah, by says, lemurs, it dude? Says, uh, Has surveillance that ever happened? Vi- surveillance video. Showed a dog barking at one of the lemurs as it walked across the fence. They were scared. They were running, <laughs> running around. Everyone was chasing at them. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Someone was trying to steal two of my lemurs, said this guy. He's, he claims someone broke into his cages in his backyard by cutting the lock. Oh, you know what? I've seen a lot. Of, there's a lot of stories about people like trying to smuggle like endangered animals and stuff. I wonder if that's what this mm. is. Somebody's gonna like steal the lemurs and try to sell them on the try black to jack market. Them. What are the lemurs black endangered up? pet market? What do lemurs look like? <laughs> I'm I picture Dude, they like look a kind of like a like weird a monkey. mongoose kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. A mongoose and a monkey kind of crossed together. Yeah, yeah. with a tail. Uh, so it's got a fluffy tail kind yeah. of thing. Mm, yeah, it's weird. But Long kind of sh- short, short legs, arms. Sort of monkey Yeah. Huh. yeah. But a weird and they're face. worth money. They're worth yeah. money in the black market. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. You guys but are... I mean, I, I don't understand why. It seems weird that you would be able to have something like that. And there's there's stories about people having chimps. Like, why are you having a chimp? <laughs> Getting mauled by it. I mean, are, killed by my monkey. Maybe you're really super lonely, but I mean. <laughs> no, I know. You gotta get a have dog, an, you gotta have Cats an, get boring. You got to have an excuse like I'm Michael Jackson to have a right. chimp. Right. Because you know got to I mean? be super rich and bored. Because, yeah. I mean, chimps. Uber yeah, because then when chi- somebody gets mauled by the chimp, then you're you're screwed. Yeah. You get sued, yeah. and the, <laughs> the chimp gets killed, and, it, you know, it's horrible. You got to have oh. an, Then everyone loses. It's not good for Everybody loses. Everybody loses. Just stick with the dogs and cats, people. This guy. I won, dude. I got to tell you about this one. All right. This guy set a world record here. I think it's a world record. Blood's gang member found with 100 bags of heroin hidden in his anus. Again. See, there you go. Body cavities, dude. Again. Which appears to be a new Again. record, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. That is- <laughs> wow. I Ooh. hope that's I mean, a new I record. I mean, I hope they're really tiny bags, but I doubt it. Yes. Meet no. Rasal Spite. That's his name. Spite. Spite. Despite his a, best efforts, he got busted. Blood, and he's a blood blood member. Yeah, he's a blood gang member. You know, hmm. 100 bags of heroin. I keistered. wonder what happens to you when you... Uh, I mean, it, it seems like we're to get around to prison. It, it'd be weird God. after that. What if one of those things... What if one of the, <laughs> What if one of those things pops in there, though? Or two? No, you die. You die yeah. instantly, yeah. dude. Yeah. Man, he's yeah. like, I'm going to go. I'm he gonna was go no high. scared. No scared. This guy pulled it. It's well, sh- almost. <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> Spite was 32 years old. He was driving on the Palisades Interstate Parkway when his 2005 Mitsubishi Lancer was pulled over no, nice. during a routine stop. And when cops routine, detected routine the smell stop of marijuana, and body, sur- body cavity search. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and he agreed to it. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. <laughs> Why are they agreeing to it, dude? That's so weird. Oh, uh, no. Can I can I look in your butthole? No problem. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's going on? That is so well, One thing, insane. let's see, led to another. What happened? Let's see, they, they detected the smell of marijuana, asked for a search, and uh, permission to search the car while investigators found nothing of uh, evidentiary value inside the vehicle, spite and the passenger, Gary Silak. 25 were both arrested due to outstanding traffic warrants and this is a good okay this is a good plan check it out so you're you have a hundred bags of heroin up your butt Mm -hmm. and so first of all you can light that joint or what start cruising around (laughs) start driving with with traffic warrants and then start smoking weed like crazy yeah (laughs) and then probably nothing will happen you should be good should have got real (laughs) hammered before too dude that is so insane oh man so insane. <laughs> Let's see. Well, what, what area was that again? Where was that? That was right, uh, New Jersey. Oh wow. That's yeah, so Jersey, heavy. on the Palisades Interstate Parkway. So what happens when you listen to Bruce Springsteen? Yeah. Bad choices. <laughs> bad choices. <laughs> people. <laughs> well, here this, this guy got this guy got screwed too. But this this kind of wasn't his own choice. And this is a kind of a weird story. You guys give me your input on this. Craigslist sperm donor forced to pay child support to lesbian couple despite giving up parental rights to the baby before she was born. 
Whoa. Uh, okay. So you can sperm don on Craigslist. Dude. <laughs> maybe yeah maybe that's why people Damn. don't do that because there's like contracts and stuff like that yeah right <laughs> it's just like totally free balling like yeah <laughs> literally free balling I, I, just I, I, send I, it, send your sample yeah. to I, san bernardino dixie cup i'd love to see the, I'd, love, I'd, I'd love to see the negotiation of that right. check <laughs> this out a sperm donor was a, ordered to pay child support for the biological daughter he fathered to a lesbian couple who found him via craigslist mm. angela bauer 40 and partner jennifer schreiner 34 placed an ad on the site three years ago for a donor which was answered by william murata that guy's bummed yeah i mean <laughs> oh mrs bauer had been supporting the child but was left unable to work due to ill health I mean, uh, it seems like so if, if they plan to do it, that they should have to right. deal with it. That well, this is your they, signed the, they signed the deal. They yeah. signed the, the three-way deal. Yeah. Right. He snapped one, and he's done. That was his I mean, part. Yeah. He did exactly. his part. He's yeah. snapped many more since then. Right. That's you know, totally. if, that, if that goes through, he's fucked. He has like 12 more of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, this is Kansas. I have a lot of angry lesbians This after is Kansas. Him. So if anybody's Kansas. in Kansas, you better watch it before you wow. put a Craigslist ad <laughs> for your own sperm. sperm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That is so <laughs> Everyone crazy, we know in Kansas, don't go <laughs> no, there for some I'm, I'm, I'm not really backing that. I don't think I don't think that dude should have to pay. Uh, no, I no. don't think he should. Absolutely not. Yeah. No, it's no. pretty lame. And, and if he does have They're to pay, reaching. he should be able to, you know, have and, a... And have it's, a, it's just because she filed for uh, financial support? I guess. With the, with well, the, well cause they said the other lady, like... Got injured and couldn't work anymore, I guess. Oh, okay. So they didn't right. have any sorts of So they're like, who else the can kid? we go to? The, oh, Besides the, the government? The that guy. They go to? Yeah, the biological. <laughs> Remember that guy who jerked off in the Petri dish for us? <laughs> yeah. Get him! Yeah. Dude. I guess they're just <laughs> searching for yeah. whatever. No, I hope that guy doesn't get screwed, basically. <laughs> oh, man. Because he does not deserve it. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, what? dude, this guy got screwed. Check this out. Official sees over 200 pounds of caterpillars from a man's <laughs> luggage at the airport. That's what we're talking about, but I get it's a little bit different than lemurs, but yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Why are people doing what? this, man? Dude. Smuggling <laughs> caterpillars. What are you going to do with them? Uh, well, Is he this said, like uh, some Chinese soup kind of thing? Or something? No, he, the, he lets them out when he gets there, and it's a bunch of butterflies that fly out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you take a really long time, yeah. you go, oh my God. <laughs> it's actually I, just, a new, I waited too long. Yeah, it's actually oh. a new circle. Oh. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's it say in the story? Well, uh, airport officials have seized over 200 pounds of caterpillars found in a man's luggage. The 22-year-old man stated that dried caterpillars were meant for personal consumption. <laughs> 200 so, pounds. Dude, these are all mine. Just 200 pounds. <laughs> I'm going to eat these the next five years. That's all I eat. Oh, man. <laughs> the man was stopped by British airport officials at Gatwick Airport, the man had arrived from Burkina Faso late last week. Officials huh. discovered that the man's luggage contained over 200 pounds of these caterpillars. And uh, as reported by the Business Insider, uh, officers report that the discovery was unusual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, 200 pounds of caterpillars. How much does a caterpillar weigh? Like one, a <laughs> like hundredth me? of a pound? Yeah. Seriously, dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's about a bit. There's about a billion caterpillars in there the for personal consumption. <laughs> I wonder so, what was it real, like you said soup or something like some like some like exotic. He said, he said dried caterpillars, but the the gnarly yeah. thing is like yeah, like that what's he gonna say? Tr- oh, it's two hundred pounds now, but once they dry up, it's only like a one seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of weight loss. He was bummed. Well, hey. Crazy. At least he didn't have to pay for o- overweight baggage, huh? I mean, did anything? That was a carry on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did anything happen to him? Did he get like? No, they just uh, you know detained. When they checked his lo- luggage, discovered tens of thousands of these dried caterpillars, <laughs> shrink wrapped in cellophane. They were shrink wrapped. <laughs> yeah, he was very meticulous. Dude, what that's he, you know, so rad. And when it's again like... questioned, he just said that they would be eaten for his personal use. Yeah, right. He's what is the real? Them. He's got a like a like a farmer's market caterpillar stand yeah <laughs> <That's totally laughs> not really. well i mean they Bizarre. said you know although it might seem unusual caterpillars are considered healthy snacks in some countries healthy and, snacks. Yeah, like in africa they're considered you know consumed dried cooked even raw i, be- See, I believe it the larvae of the emperor moth called the mopan worm are a particular favorite i think that's what he does it say what, what uh what of what nationality the gentleman was it does not it sounds like he's that. i think i saw something like people were like in tibet or some kind of place like that and they they had like 
dried caterpillars mm-hmm. for sale. Delicacy. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever Burkina Faso is, that's where he flew in. I, from. Be, I mean, the other countries have. Uh, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Other countries have crazy stuff though. I've, be, I've, oh, be, yeah. I've, eaten, I've, I've eaten horse in, in Japan before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was really? gonna say, what's what's like the craziest thing that? you've eaten so in I, a different country? I kind of want to try at, it. It was pro- it was probably Tokyo. We we're uh, there in like 2009, <laughs> and yeah, the we, we had horse like sashimi. Right. They call it basashi. I, I saw what? that, but I didn't try it. Yeah, they call it basashi over there, and like we, we, I mean, we're I don't know, like coming from well, I always blame it on coming from Hawaii and whatnot, but we're like we eat a bunch of like raw stuff right. or whatever yeah. and, totally. and and we're we're down to we were down we're like trying when in rome whatever right, you right. know how, how was so it? we did it was it was actually really the, the fatty the basashi which is like the fatty meat the sashimi of the horse tasted exactly like the best toro you've ever had no what? way it tasted like fish yeah it tastes i swear i swear yeah. wow was, yeah it was amazing and then we tried even the um the neck meat underneath the mane, which is was Whoa. almost like this, like harder, like white, almost like a like stick of butter, almost that that same what? that same kind Whoa. of a like hard hard kind of a yeah. So they but and they I mean it's just like I, I tell people that and they look at me like oh you're a sick person I'm yeah like, it's totally Re- it's totally cultural because look well, at every, look at everybody now like all of Europe's freaking out because they found horse and like Burger King meat and all this crazy stuff and yeah in it's Japan called, it's a total delicacy. well they they yeah. uh, well in Japan they raise them like we raise cows like cattle, over here yeah yeah you know. I mean, they yeah. raise them for consumption, right. and that's right. kind right. of the thing. And then we we ate the we ate the poisonous blowfish over there as well. Yeah, yeah. all right. Which, that's like the the uh, if the chef messes up, he dies. Yeah. You and, all die. And he, he commits suicide <laughs> yeah, because right. it's like totally yeah. well, I wasn't hugely <laughs> I wasn't hugely impressed with it, but to do but to eat it to uh-huh. say you have right right. right. You know, I'm but, embarrassed that I killed that person. What about so the horse? Yeah. Is it the same thing? Little wasabi, little ginger, just the horse what? it up. Yeah, uh, I mean, we tried it just at first because. Straight. Just by just itself, solo. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. gnarly, dude. Wow. And it was real, like not gamey at all. Not, sure. not, not nothing. It's that's kind it of was, surprising. Yeah, dude, I'll eat anything. Yeah, care. no, not not gamey at all. <laughs> but the but it, the the fatty meat, the bas, the basashi was the. Was Do you like good. watching some of those shows? Like, was it Anthony Bourdain? <laughs> yeah, and Andrew Zimmer, yeah. And all that. I love it. So you try to like live that out on kind, the road yeah, you kind of, <laughs> yeah no, no yeah c- kind of for sure that was kind of our uh, thing when we were when we were heading that was the first time we ever went to japan that was our thing like like me brent and claire were like let's, let's try it all and try yeah let's just try like it. just the weirdest yeah. like stuff we can find kind of thing you know so in all your times touring do you think that's the weirdest thing you guys ate yeah horse? japan japan was probably the the overall yes horse but overall, in general, the cuisine in general, Japan definitely had some of the most obscure yeah, kind they of have stuff. Yeah, random items. Stuff. I mean, yeah. to, to some of us, like to to me and Dustin, a lot of the stuff is like seems common now. But I'm sure, like if you're in Kansas somewhere and you see right. like octopus or something, you're, oh like, yeah, freaking yeah. out. But yeah, yeah. You know. well, I mean, yeah, sushi. I mean. I, it's like the whole thing where nowadays with sushi, everything's going like bluefin tuna. They're oh, worried gone. about it going yeah. extinct. Yeah, you know what right. I mean? It's like totally. it's like all that. That's but Switching like you're gears. saying nowadays, sushi is a like we didn't we moved from Hawaii in 1999 and we grew up eating ahi sashimi like yeah. all day long. You know, yeah. but the yeah. feather, the, the, the yeah, the concept of sushi like we knew about it. There was this one place called Kanazawa Te in Kona. And my mom, um, she used to actually deal drugs to uh, uh, Sam Kinison, God rest his soul, <laughs> when he would come to, no! w- yeah, when he'd come to Kona. <laughs> I need and, to go. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, so we'd go meet him down there. And, that, and what I'm saying is that was the only place. So the, the thought of sushi. So it wasn't until we moved to California in 1999 until we really started eating sushi. And it's like it seems like since then it's blown up to oh, this. Yeah, like, it's totally. Yeah, like, it's I like, mean, it was like in it LA was, alone. You think no, about in how LA, these dude, all seriously. Was, sushi was big way before sushi started getting big in the 80s here yeah oh yeah in la yeah, yeah for sure like huge mm-hmm. yeah and uh like i was eating it in the 70s and you know talking about stuff going extinct look all alpha pv out here that used to be totally loaded the abalone is totally gone well, yeah, was totally. Used say, to be out, right off i was at closer. abalone cove with my girl and there's lots of vana lots of the uni the purple urchin but yeah, i didn't yeah. see one abalone no the abalone yeah. is totally <laughs> totally completely gone right yeah that's, yeah i guess it's evolution Sorry. but but I think it's like yeah. we're just overeating. Yeah. Well, over po- <laughs> well, and we're and we're and we're and we're over- overpopulating. Yeah. Obviously, giving sperm on Craigslist is yeah. a right, point right. of overpopulating. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Maybe you don't need that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it all ties together. Yeah. It does. Hey, full circle. We just it's came just full circle. Symptom and sign. Yeah. We've gone to. Going on. We've gone to plaid. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so what are what are some of the other uh what's the most obscure country you've been to? You guys um, toured pr- Europe probably, a lot? Probably uh not we've been into Europe like four times. We've been there with um the Mad Caddies, with Floggy Molly, uh with Less Than Jake, and then once by herself. But probably the weirdest country was I mean, once you start going east in Europe, you yeah, know, that's and rad. Just, uh, it, I, like I, it. I I I uh, I equate it to where we're from on the big island. There's Kona, which is on the west side where we're from. And you start driving south to South Kona, like Captain Cook, and it all just starts getting just a little weirder. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Just a little trippy. You know what I mean? So um, uh, uh, Slovenia was probably oh, probably wow, one wow. of the... Yeah, we played in Slovenia, and True. all day long, we were like, this is like South Kona, but way weirder. Like, it was like, like <laughs> the venue weirder. The venue was like someone... Look, looked like the equivalent of someone's like old house that had been gutted yeah. out, you know? And like, That's awesome. And there was like the skate park next door with like a, it was just it was in the middle of the jungle from what all i saw you know what i mean were, so, were you playing true. like a like a squat over there um oh i don't know the, you mean the venue yeah. that it was I, I i couldn't tell you i don't know maybe it was just me not paying attention or whatever it was but <laughs> whatever it was out, yeah Slovenia. whatever it was it was the the venue of you know what i mean it's like yeah. you go to austria and austria is trippy like trippy in itself but yeah slovenia was 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 weird but um other than that i mean that's that's definitely the weirdest i mean one of the one of the one of the best is actually uh, brazil was awesome we went to brazil this this summer and yeah, that was, oh, nice. yeah, yeah that's amazing a little bit of everything there it's like there's so much third world there but then there's right. so yeah, much super. there's there's so much like paradise and, and yeah, and, yeah. A, there, there's a gnarly disparity in, in brazil that's like right in your face where you're staying at a totally killer hotel and right across the street is like shanty town like right the yeah. worst, Farfalo, worst or whatever they that call you've them. ever seen in mexico yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 totally it's gnarly but um but um, and, and brazil's like their economy is doing really well but all that shit still exists it's, it's kind of like they're not really making yeah. that big of an attempt to I, upgrade it or something i wonder why, why is their economy doing so well i wonder oil Oil, huh? We found offshore oil like crazy. Uh, uh, I wonder how much of that's left. It's kind of like people are gonna find that's <laughs> like it's like the new hey, Saudi this. Arabia. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like the new side. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, all those places are gonna run out, and then it's gonna be all these trippy countries like you know Venezuela and Brazil. That'll be like the new, you know, Saudi Arabia. And right. Well, Oman. let's hope all the 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 war and everything doesn't follow and. But but. No, it's your right. Yeah, yeah, I know. When, whenever I know. people want resources like that, they're just gonna. Yeah. Oil is oil, oil, Start a battle. Oil is war. It seems it's to just be. like it's just like uh, little kids trying to get on the internet, man. People find yeah, them. <laughs> they'll, they'll find a way. Find a way. It's, it's like yeah. It's it as if crazy. The, Things get crazy. It's as if the ki- it's as if the kids it's as if the kids were reading the art of war. Right. And they're yeah. like milkshakes. Milkshakes. Yes. Got- <laughs> Everybody likes milkshakes. <laughs> president of That's brazil right. is gonna be like this horchata is grainy yeah <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> what else are you guys what are you up to now we got, you got, we a, got, we album got a bunch words, yeah or? we got a bunch going on i was actually stoked to um come talk to you guys today because it's actually like perfect time we're actually getting the album is this ma- secret stuff are we getting get, like the first word getting, kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. nice 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 <laughs> we're getting the album mastered this week nice actually Killer. we're yeah. at what uh, um, place? at uh dave henson i believe or it's i don't know i'm, I'm I'm not super versed on a on a mastering. Okay. I know Bernie Grunman and uh, yeah. and Joe uh, Gaswitz. It's like secret voodoo stuff. I, I oh don't even <laughs> I don't even craft. know I don't even know about what the actual process is. That's yeah. a whole different. It's but, magic, dude. Yeah, yeah. no, it rich, is. a little it bit is. of rich craft. It's like it a little, magic. Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's like a little bit of. I am going to come and sprinkle my mastering exactly. dust yeah, exactly. on your project, right. uh-huh. and then you go. Right. Your mastering yeah. dust sucks. So so yeah, so we're getting a mastered. Matt Wallace produced it awesome and uh we're yeah the guy's amazing he really he, so tell us about did, did he have like a lot of practical jokes yes he's he's you know what actually <laughs> he's a no, famous no. practical joker he's a yeah. famous practical joker but not no you know what not it was more stories that we would get i think maybe in his old age he's maybe he's mellowing out he's maybe mellowing out no but, more uh, glue on the toilet seats for Matt. yeah <laughs> yeah no the, like the closest one i got i think was to do like brett's flatulence is it's it's really <laughs> no. bad yeah, and bad. it was more like it especially was, in, it was, a, in an enclosed area like no, a control room. yeah so so wallace wallace had more like a Hey, you, we go uh, grab that tambourine in there, and and Brett had just unleashed his flight. You know, so it was mellow <laughs> stuff. But I'd heard about it was more the uh, the Faith No More stories were right. awesome. Totally hearing yeah, about yeah. those, mm-hmm. um, and just I mean the guys the guys a genius like straight up. You know what I mean? It's That's like, right. Like he really twisted 
and wrung us out and, and really extracted the best out of us that, that has ever been. So we're, we're super pumped. Stoke, but, yeah, it's, it's going to be out this summer. So we're awesome. psyched. And then and we just uh, we just booked the which we're announcing today as well, which I was stoked to come up. But yeah, it's going to be on all our stuff like PepperLive.com. But a little short run in uh, in May, which is going to be like just all underplay stuff. Like we're going to play the Troubadour in cool. LA. Oh, and, dude, that's awesome. Right. Yeah, instead of doing like Nokia Live and uh, Belly Up in San Diego rad yeah. <clears throat> all that kind of stuff so that's going to be like beginning of may for a couple weeks just to mainly and it's going to be cool it's going to be an evening with pepper which Sweet. we're not bringing we're not bringing any support we're going to do like uh some acoustic stuff oh nice well the, the idea started just to play the new stuff because you know mm-hmm. how it is you go right. in the studio and you're right. in such studio mode and you're like you finish the cd you're like god this sounds so good and then you're like wait how do we play it Right, <laughs> you know I mean? it's true because you you like live with the songs. You're cre- you're like creating this sort of like new entity, yeah. and then you're mm-hmm. like, how is this gonna live in the live world? Yeah, and, right. and that's you're trying right. to think of how you, how it's gonna. And like, that's the most exciting mm-hmm. place for it because us, like, I mean, I don't know for anyone that's familiar with Pepper, it's like our live show is kind of like what like it's our personality per se, which it's right. I think every good band's like every totally, true yeah. every mm-hmm. true band's personality is like their live show. And um, everything changes so much for us, and the songs become this whole nother thing and, and whatnot, so that's always exciting to, uh, to us. But, yeah, so the original idea was to just, we're go- going out playing these small venues to get the new stuff down, but then we're like, why don't we just make it a whole evening and do some acoustic stuff. Do that's the, killer. Do yeah. The, yeah, so that's uh, we're excited about that. Sweet. And, so yeah. I'm. what are you going to, like, what's going to be your role? Are you, are you going to be sitting there with, like, a tambourine and a shaker, or are you going to, like, know, be full of I don't know. We, 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 did, we, did the, we did the, you know, we grew up you, with you can, the... You can borrow those if you want. We grew, thank, you, are, thank you, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Jimbe. We grew we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we grew up in the whole, you know, the original, like, mtv unplugged era you totally. know with yeah. uh right with the you know our whole we think of like a band playing unplugged and we think of the nirvana dave right, Grohl, dave right. Grohl sure. with the turtleneck you know <laughs> so we've done that kind before you know what i mean right. which which we also have done like our standard as we call you know like our in store or like radio you know which is right, just like right. the yeah. three of us really stripped down like mm-hmm. maybe i'll play a cajon or something like that and like and like acoustic bass acoustic guitar and and that's it. So we're kind of thinking probably more more that vibe, that's you know, awesome. with because we're kind of you know we were kind of thinking of going straight along with the an evening with peppers to, to the true sense of it, you know. And we're kind yeah, of like yeah. if, if we go, it's kind of a more of an intimate thing. And yeah, then, and then yeah, the drums yeah. are like you know because basically the drums set the le- the volume for everything. Yeah. So if you're behind yeah, exactly. a full kit, yeah, everybody kind of has to start and raging. Whether yeah. it's whether it's and you got to understand we're not like trained musician so i just start like leaning into that thing and tempos start going fast you know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. but uh even with even with those like little skewer sticks it still gets loud and like you're saying i right. think we're going after the more more as intimate, intimate as possible mellow. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's really cool dude. yeah so yeah, we're, we're be. so we're really stuck the album's gonna be out this summer and it's about six years since our last full studio album wow, which, really? uh, which we recorded in uh old, wow old, i knew it was that long yeah old winds place over Total here access. Okay. access the pink crustaceans why, why such a long uh, uh break uh we went we went through a lot of changes you know we um all became uh mormons just kidding <laughs> but uh <laughs> no no we just we went like, through wow, we, we went through we went through it worked for uh yeah. brandon flowers and the kid no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> but um uh basically internally we went through changes you know with our business and whatnot and and uh personally we went through a lot of stuff you know i after the pink crustaceans thing like my mom passed away and oh, and just kind of sorry. like all all of us uh thank you guys um all like all of us together like the band was just kind of like it's like that cliche behind the music store you know what i mean mm, yeah we just weren't in a good place and, and literally right, right. literally it wasn't that's kind of like like Cleo was like holding that the 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 ship together over there at Total Access, you know, because like I was kind of just my head was spinning. I, mm-hmm. but anyway, but we we finished the album, we got it out, and we toured on it and and whatnot, and 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 then just kind of you know I don't know we kind of maybe lost our direction a little bit, and yeah. and then our career kind of ended up going from like this like climbing thing to leveling off, and then there was a lot of kind of okay, what's going on here, you know? Yeah, let's, like, right, let's right. figure it out. Let's figure it out. A little bit of. Uh, so introspective yeah. like so yeah, yeah 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 like what okay What's the plan? Yeah. what are we gonna do yeah right, exactly right. we can't we can't necessarily just keep on being like okay everything's fine you know so what i mean you, like you know what i want to actually get into that a little bit because what do you have any advice for bands when i think that's a great thing that you said where all, all bands start that trajectory where you're going up and then there's some point where you start to kind of plateau and yeah. level off so totally. 
what what do you what ideas do you have to kind of keep it fresh and keep it on that incremental uprise? I I mean that God willing that it uh, it does that, but I mean the the like let speaking of going to Europe with less than Jake, it was like that was our first time really meeting those guys, and they've been a band for so long. And they were the ones that told us, you know what I mean? It's like their career in the U.S. has been up and down and, and yeah, whatever. But right, they, yeah. in, in, in like England, like we did 25 shows just in England wow. with, with Less Than Jake. And they would play, we'd play like maybe an hour apart drive in like England and some small town right in England. And there'd be like 800 people at the small That's place. That's awesome, dude. And they'd sell out the Astoria in, in London. You know what I mean? It was right. like, yeah. so, but they were the ones that told us like, I mean, first of all, I think, you got to accept the fact that if you're getting into the music industry, there's, it's, there's so many ebbs and flow, you know what I mean? Sure. The ebb and the yeah, flow yeah, is totally. like, yeah. you know, and, and, um, and I think first of first of all, accepting that, that that's, you know, out there and that's going to happen and not get discouraged and bummed out about yeah. it. I think that's Keep the main, forging forward. that's the main yep. thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you know what, this is all it is right now. Realizing the fact that you're in a band and, and you're making a living playing music in a band. Yeah, that's I cool. mean that's I, the I've, gift. And I've lost I've lost sight of it many times. You know what I mean? Mm, and yeah. I'm like where I've had to kind of like whether it's me slap myself in the face or my lady or whoever it is and just be like, what, what do you say? You know? And it's like as long as that's happening, I think you got to be thankful and the gratitude and, and whatnot. You know? Right. Yeah, right. totally agree. Yeah. But 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 it is. I mean, you know, like everyone has their ego and all, and all that stuff, but. Mm. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, if you look at it from a from an outside and, and you're able to step outside of it, and I don't know, keeping it fresh on and and just you know making new music, I think is a is a big thing too. Because I think part yeah. of that part of that six years too for for me personally that we did, we released the EP, the Stitches EP in 2010. But yeah, I don't know. For me, it was like not having anything new and not having you know what I mean, and fresh, not having like fresh, fresh ideas, pre- yeah, fresh right, ideas right. or fresh or just not even a, a, a fresh product to tour off of. You know right, what I mean? Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like we've taken a long time to make this album, and we did the Cypress Hill and Sublime with Rome thing last summer, and and it was cool because it kept us going, right. kind of mm-hmm. thing, you know. But but it, but it's yeah, it's it's so much. It, that's why we're so excited right now to get out with new, you know, like as nice as as much as it sounds it's like it's it, this is a, it's a relationship you know and these are our babies you know and yeah. it's totally tough. totally you, you know, you know um we've had a lot of people on and uh, a lot of kind of a, a common theme is bands getting like so it's almost like you're diversifying we talk about some bands that like almost can't get arrested here but maybe they're they have a huge following in brazil or like germany like you said England mm-hmm. for less than Jake. Yeah. I, I mm-hmm. think that's a huge thing too for bands. No, if worldwide. You're, if you're able right. to get, yeah, yeah, I, it costs a lot of money. But if you're able to get outside of the country and uh, get a fan base somewhere else, sometimes mm-hmm. that can com- support your entire career. You There's know? a lot Seriously. of people acro- across this world, and and you know, music is the international translator. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. like we have friends, a, a reggae band called Soja, and they're, I mean, they're getting pretty big in the states now. But uh, you, you go to Brazil and or south america in general and they're they're like bona fide like huge rock stars down that's there that's awesome like yeah. like thou like like last time they're in sao paulo they do they'll do like five thousand people wow for their own headlining yeah. shows you know and it's mm-hmm. and it's just yeah it'll it can totally support your career and whatnot and and you know like you're talking about too like i kind of want to touch on like you're talking about how you know staying positive or keeping the that up flow going and mm. just like i don't know the fact of like longevity has been like something yeah. that I'm very proud of that our our band it's still Absolutely, the same three dude. guys totally. from for, yeah. for 13 years or 14 years or whatever but I also want to say that I think I'm a bit lucky where it's two of my friends that I grew up with my whole life that are in the band right, right which is right. which has kept me from maybe doing shit I would regret right, right. Or, or making a stupid decision or mm-hmm. you know what I mean or right. or, or like cuz it's like I have an emotional there's extra emotional attachment to to the to the band I think for us you know yeah, cuz it's, yeah. it's like we've not only do we have this music thing in common, we have Hawaii in common, we have Korea right. in common, yeah, we have our like, families in common. It's we have, your baby. It's like your yeah, Ohana. It's like yeah. your family, no, man. that's you hit it on the head. Yeah. It's Ohana. It's, it that's, that's the whole thing right there. So yeah, that's why I can it's relate like to you. Uh, it's thing. Like our band's way smaller than your band, obviously, but just all the emotions and the same thing. Yeah, you shoot up, you have great shows, and then you sit there going, "What are we doing?" Not for literally three shoot up. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah not right. us. <laughs> well, and you know what's funny is so you see, speak. But about we're your, friends, though. Yeah, you and we love about, it. You speak about your band, and I'm living in South Bay. I've been here for like two years, and you know Byron f- f- uh, from Pennywise has been so great to show yeah. me around, and it's, and it's like I get the same kind of Ohana family vibe in the South Bay. Yeah, yeah, as I. As you know what I mean? It's of course at a yeah. different level, but as yeah, it's, it's the right. same but thing. Yeah, similar, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? It's kind of the whole thing. Like I love it. It's like South Bay. It's like part of LA, but but it's not really 
part yeah. of LA. Yeah, too, it's a little you know? bubble. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're like in a detached right. bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 which is awesome. You know what I mean? Totally. But it's, it's cool because you can still make it up to like you know if you need to go to Hollywood or something. Yeah. It's like thirty five minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Break we, out. We lived in uh, North County, San Diego for so long. Cleo still lives down there in uh, Oceanside oh, yeah. and. And like I, I, we were surfing. I went down there and surfed with him. And he's asking me like, "You think you'd ever move back down here?" And I'm like, "To be quite honest, brother, no." Because yeah. <laughs> I, I like, like you said, I, I like, I, I like, be, I like being close to Hollywood. I like, right? Being, I agree because I mean? San Diego kind of is like a, a real community kind of thing, like you said. But but it's really isolated. It's right? really, I, yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, you got the city there, but that's all you got is the city there. Right. You know what I mean? Like I just, I don't know. It's just where I'm at in my life personally. But right, yeah, I agree right, though, right. totally. Well, that's cool. I'm looking forward to hear your new album. Dude. Yeah, out this, it's gonna be a good summer. Yeah, yeah. It's I know. Be a good it summer is, for is, everybody. When does it actually drop? When uh, we don't have an exact date, but it's definitely gonna be out this summer. Cool. Yeah, cool, yeah, hundred percent. It'll be out this summer. Like I said, it's all done. It's getting mastered uh, this week. So that's the rest, awesome, the rest man. is just uh, crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Yeah. Yep. So. Looking forward to those shows. Yeah, I know. We are, we are Solana too. Beach. The belly too. up. That'll be great. Forgive us if it's a little rusty. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's good. All of a sudden, it'll be like sitting at sometimes I'll uh, uh, go and I'll be sitting at a, a stop. What is I'll sit at a stop sign like it's a stoplight, you know? You ever do that? No. You ever yeah. do that? No. You're just chilling. No? No? Okay. You're just I guess chilling. I'm, the, I'm guessing I'm the only one that waiting for the it. stop sign to <laughs> turn green. Yeah. So <laughs> it'll be like that at the show where we've been in the studio for so long, and they'll be like, "Yee, why don't you start start the song?" I'll be like, yeah. "Okay, give me the click. Give me the click. Yeah, give me the right. click." <laughs> oh wait, sorry, we're on the stage. Right. Fog. Yeah. 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 Where's my headphones? Yeah. yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I can't hear the click. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's rad I, that'll be killer at small venues like that it's like yeah it's totally. we're, totally. we're so stoked because it's like yeah. i mean that was that wasn't mm-hmm. even like i mean we we started at like your like bar bars and then we moved up to like your roxies and troubadours and yeah, stuff yeah. so i mean it's a cool it's it's definitely going back and it's kind of celebrating on top of the, like the new music thing the nostalgic part of it is it kind of is celebrating the time when that was when we first actually were kind of like oh wow we can actually maybe do this yeah, thing you know what i mean like yeah we're yeah, getting right, somewhere right, right. exactly uh-huh. progress like i remember the first time we ever sold out the roxy i was like oh my god yeah, like, right amazing like you know what i mean yeah. so it kind of is going and touching back on on those times and yeah. kind of like getting and it's also the troubadour one especially um uh, speaking of locally here's where we recorded the Pepper Live DVD back oh, in right. like 2003, right around the time the In With the Old album came out. So, All right. and we haven't played there since. Wow! So oh, it's wow, been about man. ten years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I gotta God, look that time up. Flies. I gotta look that up. That might be like a ten-year anniversary of one. Seriously? There you yeah. Go. yeah. Make a little. I see a shirt. This just in. <laughs> <laughs> I see a shirt. I want yeah. one. All this snow. A ten-year anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is it when you go back to Hawaii? When you guys play over there, is it like uh, local boys done good kind of thing? Uh, or... yeah, kind kind of. It's uh it's super stressful because no one wants to pay for a ticket back. No, back that's home. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right, bro. You put me on the list. Let's make it a free but show. It, it is. I mean, I'd say more in in Oahu. Like when we go play Honolulu, yeah, my, it's sure. more of the you know um, hometown boys done good vibe. When we go back to Kona, it's more. It's why it's hard to sell tickets. It's more. It's like it's Brett Kaleo and Usad. You know what I mean? From yeah. hey, what, bro? What, what yeah. are you guys talking about? Yeah, what? what? Wait, hey, you guys just played that party. Yeah, yeah you that was play, fif- that can was you play fif- my party? Yeah, that was 15, right. <laughs> that was 15 years ago. Uh, yeah, but you still played them all. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so, that's right. So, but it's, but, but it's the best thing ever, you know? It's like the, the, we've said it a million times that that was the reason we left Hawaii was just so we can go back there, you know? Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. So. Is that kind of the long-term goal? Is it based out of Hawaii? Yeah, again, long, 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 long term like i'm mm-hmm. talking like in 20 years from now maybe or something yeah. you right know? right i don't know me, me personally maybe the other guys would want to like, like make permanent residence there uh, sooner but i don't know I, I like being over here and i like we've got the record label thing too law records and whatnot and right i just i like the pace of it over here and i, I love getting to go back there like three or four times a year and yeah. You, you know and what I miss from over there is like fresh fruit. Oh That's my just god! Like oh, dude. Eating somebody's yard. The avocados. Just... The avocados <laughs> oh, in man. Hawaii. Hawaiian avocados. 
I, I never saw any avocados. Me neither. I mean, I missed the mango I, trees. I papayas were the Hawaiian avocados. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the avocados there, they're huge. They're like these huge orbs of just glory, and they're the most oh buttery. Oh, my God. Yeah, I've they're seen the most, yeah. yeah, like, I mean, you think, like, the Haas avocados, like, they're, they're right? nice, and, like, I love them. It's and they're, like, they're big, and, they're, and they have a really thin skin, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but they're not, like, but you get the ones in the mainland that are, that are thin-skinned, big, but just water. Just oh, super right. yeah. watery, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And like, like, yeah. and they just don't have. These are just like a little lemon pepper Dude. on it, and just that, and it's right. It's amazing, but all yeah. the food in general in Hawaii. That's one. I mean, it's my friends and family first, and then the food second. The food, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. And then, right. and then, <laughs> well, uh, the the waves because the, the warm water. Yeah, yeah, the warm water and. But it's it's wetsuits it's are a there. bummer. Yeah, yeah. Wet, wetsuits are a bummer. They're a bum out. Yeah, but how's thanks. the how's the climate change when you first came over here? Where you're like, oh my god, I it was like parka. First, well, first of all, like first of all, surfing. It was yeah. like I had to learn how to surf again, basically in a wetsuit. Yeah, because yeah. oh, I was like, this is like this is this is just insane. This is work. Yeah, you yeah, know? totally. And, it was just to- and the waves are just totally different over here too. In yeah, general, big it's the, time. the it's a lot more. You got to work for it. You got to hustle. Yeah, in California compared to compared to being in the mainland, and then uh, but at, at least when you're you know if you don't wipe out into a bunch of coral and have back yeah. scars for life <laughs> yeah. it's kind of different yeah. no no that's definitely true the, the waves definitely aren't as strong right as they yeah. are in hawaii too but yeah. but the climate was yeah yeah it was it was pretty chilly but uh it's pretty it's pretty comparable that's why we yeah. chose san diego you know yeah. it, was, it was one we knew people there right. and uh mm-hmm. and and two just yeah, we were like, won't be that beach much of culture a, there yeah, a little bit, you know. Yeah. It won't be that much of a huge, a yeah, huge culture yeah. shock. So. You just got to wear shoes for a few months out of the year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I think your dog is like saying, "Shut <laughs> up and end this podcast." Oh my! God. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go for a walk. She no, she she's so funny. We bring it, we bring her to shows, and and seriously, it's like she becomes the show. Yeah, I yeah. want, I want <laughs> my uh, the next intro for. Not not the small tour because it's just an evening with Pepper and we're not bringing any support. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but I'm t- I wanna, for the next like big tour, I want to uh, basically for the intro we won't come out on stage. I want to send Mishi out on stage, <laughs> and right when the lights come on and show her. This girl is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And it'll, and it'll just be the me. Ah, and then she'll yeah. do a Colombian she'll Shakira shake. Right? shake yeah, yeah. And then three, four, say, boom. Best rock show of your life. You, Sick should, intro. you should teach her an instrument. Yeah, right? <laughs> just put a tambourine in her mouth. Dude, this, this dog's going to dislocate my arm. There yeah. you go. She's She's strong. Yeah, <laughs> dude, looking forward to the next Pepper album. Is there a yeah. title on it yet? Are you no, guys still kicking all, it around? Uh, yeah, we're still kicking it around. That's uh-huh. always we're always with with uh, artwork and titles. It's always right. something that we're like, dude, bands, like, and, bands and artwork is like <laughs> it's, it's a, a like, battle. It's, it's, it, battle. It, it's one of those things. Okay, uh, it's got to be in the deadlines tomorrow. You know, right. <sighs> Okay, so then we rush around and, and we finish it, yeah. and then right. we're like, okay, this is what it's called. Here we go, and you know, and so every, some, some everybody's like that. That idea sucks. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> and, and sometimes I was gonna say, do you all agree, or is it one guy, or you just go, you know what, let the artist do it, or usually we all agree on everything, uh-huh. but if it comes down to it, we're full democracy, and right. there's thank God there's three of us, so yeah. sometimes someone gets outvoted and it, yeah, suck, yeah. it sucks when you're that guy right, right. right. you know what i mean but it seems like it seems like you guys have a pretty mellow you don't you don't have a lot of crazy internal band mm. politics so that no, makes it a lot easier no right. not like i mean we're all we have huge respect for each other you know we That's all rad. we all, and and we all we, we all we know that we're the holy trinity <laughs> you know, of, of, of pepper. Yeah. You, need of each, pepper. You, you need each side of the yeah, triangle. Yeah, we need each side who's of the, the triangle. And who's the son? Obviously, I'm the, dr- I'm, I'm the drummer, so I'm the bottom You're of bottom. the triangle. You're the holy ghost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold so, it down. I know. No, it's inspiring to hear that from you guys, though, you know, because your career's been long. Yeah. And been fruitful. And like you said, like everyone's career, it's had ups and downs. But, yeah, um, for sure. But I mean, it's never had such a down that, God, we got to yeah. pack it up and uh, move back to Hawaii kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're a three piece too, and I can relate, even though we're still in the garage style. But it's rad to hear yeah. you talk about your guys' trials was, and tribulations, that, yeah, ups and downs, that, your relationships. It's like inspiring. You go through so much, you know, mm-hmm. well, well being in a band, and 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 it's, yeah. I mean, well, well being in a band for so long that is. Yeah, you know? and it is so. a business, but I look at it like our friendships are first. And you kind of mentioned that, like with the ups yeah. and downs, you guys are brothers and yeah. you can talk things out and you know what I mean? Yeah, and for it's sure. Cool. It's cool. For sure. I mean, it's all, I mean, and, and you know what a huge thing too is that I attribute everything is, I mean, you know, always having kind of the common vision, 
you right. know and and and, and right and, that's and a big no thing one, too yeah mm-hmm. and not not anyone get, not, like everybody has kind of the same ideas and expectations of the band yeah you know? mm-hmm. yeah and i and i think you know i mean that's kind of just something we've always we've always kept instilled in ourselves, and 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 you know common motives common yeah. common goals and it's easy it's it's not like there's five or six people in the band like i said yeah, earlier exactly so it's, yeah, that's it's less it. chefs yeah, in the kitchen yeah it's exactly always better. It's, it's easier yeah. to, to 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 come to a conclusion when it's less chefs like you mm-hmm. said well, hey, dude, That's I want to cool. thank thank you for uh, absolutely for cruising over. It's I know. killer to have you on, and thanks for the insider info. Yeah, no, check it all yeah, out yeah. on uh, PepperLive.com. There'll be today. Actually, there'll be uh, all the info on our Facebook and Twitter and all that about the tour coming up in May. Awesome, sweet, so, awesome. Yeah, Looking we, forward. We to wish it. you all the success and right. uh, absolutely, and bring bring home some more weird food stories. Yeah, yeah I yeah. will. I will. <laughs> well, with this new album, we'll be all over the world. So uh, we're gonna. Yeah. Uh, we want to hear some. There's Indonesia a lot to eat out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and no, that's where we want to go because that's where the waves are good. So yeah, we got to. Exactly. Right. We got to get down there. Gonna yeah. the we're gonna spot. we're gonna call it the Pacific Rim Job Tour. Oh man! And it's gonna be Hawaii, Japan, Indonesia, Australia. It's perfect. <laughs> so. Dog. <laughs> the dog's getting she's getting restless yep all right man thanks for coming down no worries thanks, right on, thanks for doing Big it mahalo. thanks for uh thanks for thinking of me there i appreciate it man we'd, we'd love to have you back in yeah. the future I, and yeah. i'll hit up the other boys too when they're in the area we can that's perfect yeah Shoot. have, have yeah. a clara bread on too that'd be Maybe awesome we'll have yeah, you do yeah. like the djembe little jam thing yeah yeah we'll, uh, <laughs> there we'll, we go. Practice, we'll practice it in may and then uh, yeah. 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 strip them down <laughs> yeah okay. killer all right you guys all right thanks and cool. uh Everybody check us out on YouTube and uh, on Twitter. We're at, at of Muse and Men, and the Gmail is uh, of Muse and Men at gmail.com. Send us some more story ideas like that uh, crazy lady hiding the gun. Jeez. <laughs> we love that stuff. I will sleep not so much tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and we're out. Peace. Aloha. Thanks. Hey.